Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is my look for the Makeup Artist Magazine Giving Back Scholarship Contest. I came in for the second round finalist. So I'm using third degree um, to create my fish scales. I'm going to use this for both the arm with the gills and for the scales. So it's all about carving at this point. It doesn't have to be completely symmetrical, but try to make them as identical as you can. So we are going to speed through most of this video. So pretty much here, the way third degree works is that you have to kind of move fast in a sense if you're trying to build height. Um, otherwise, it will run. So I'm just basically continuously molding it so that it doesn't fall. I'm going in with my wolf face art, uh, which is a body paint. It's really easy to get off and I was concerned that my model would have a hard time um, getting most of the paint off. So I decided to go with water base. So I noticed that this particular size of net wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, I did continue it throughout the other shoulder, but I switched later um, to a much finer fishnet stocking, and that worked out great. So here I'm just going in with multiple colors. Um, I used the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I decided to switch from the water paint. It just wasn't doing it for me. So now we're getting into covering pretty much the whole face into the neck and I'm basically blending multiple colors to get this purple that I wanted. And I'm using it all over her face and toward her neck and I'm using a sponge to blend it out. Now this took some time because I really wanted to make sure everything was blended out evenly. But take your time, you'll get the best results. Now I'm going in with a 3D glitter. And I'm using that on the perimeters where I added that blue from the fishnet stocking and I'm going to carry that all the way over to the other side now you can't see from this side but I'm going in with rhinestones placing them very strategically across her forehead perimeters down to her cheekbone now I'm going in with another 3d glitter this is in like a really frost white and I'm using that um, underneath her eyes into her cheek and if you pay close attention, you'll notice that I added some to her nose frame and to her chin. So anywhere where the light would naturally hit, I wanted to highlight it a little bit more. Now I'm going in, again, using the flash palette, the yellow there, and I'm adding it to the base of her eye. I am going to give it some type of shape, so it has like almost like a feline uh, shape. And I'm going to go over that with a MAC um, yellow eyeshadow and chrome. And this is just a slow image so that you guys can see what we have so far. So you can see a little bit more of the eye detail work. And don't worry, we're going to go in and cover her ears later. Feel free if you'd like to block out the brows. I just chose not to. As I mentioned earlier, we're going in with that chrome eyeshadow by MAC. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal's um, Slim Eyeliner. I believe it's called Infallible Super Slim. I'm using that to give her a nice, nice heavy wing. Now I'm going in with a Voluminous Million Lashes. This is also by L'Oreal. I'm applying that both to the top and the bottom of the top lashes. Now I'm going in with Passionate by MAC, and I'm just defining the perimeters of the nose and the inner eye hitting the eyebrow. I'm also going around her forehead just to make sure everything's blended out into her hairline. I'm going back in with the fishnet to touch up on her shoulders and any areas where I left the gap. I also applied some glitter, fine glitter, around her neck area and her neglete. Now with the muff palette, I'm just using the silver and I'm basically highlighting uh, the areas that I want to stand out. Now these gills I made, as I mentioned earlier, using the third degree. I'm just going in, giving them some dimension, adding some gloss so they give off a wet finish. I'm also going around her arm with foundation to blend that out, and I'm setting that with a translucent powder. My choice was Young Blood True Powder. I believe it's the uh, translucent. Going in with the fish gills, I'm giving that dimension as well to make it look very deep. I'm adding, again, the glitter on top just to give it that scale-like effect, and then I'm going in highlighting it using a turquoise glue just to give it a touch more of dimension. Here I'm just going in with a little hairspray. I use multiple colors, pink, yellow, blues, blended it out. I wanted it to have like a wet look as if she just got out the water. 
Now I added lashes and I'm touching that up with the same mascara, which was the L'Oreal Voluminous. And I'm going in and giving her a little white just to open up her eyes a little bit. I also added a little gloss to the uh, middle of her lip. And this is the look. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the scales. And guys, this is my Beta Made fish, my cute little Beta Made fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.